This is the Feiyu Tech wearable gimbal. I just got this from Amazon yesterday and I cannot wait to try it out. I've been seeing a lot of great mountain biking footage on YouTube with this gimbal on and it just looks unreal. So I've got my chesty mount for my GoPro ready and uh, let's take this thing out of the box and see what's inside. Comes in kind of a nice uh, protective case, kind of soft hard. All right, we've got the battery thing. Got four batteries. And these look like the uh, kind of the weird fat batteries. I think like CR203 or something. I'll have to look at the manual. Um, some GoPro mounts that feel pretty solid metal. And here is the gimbal itself. So it's got three axes. One, two, three. And I've read a lot of stuff online, a lot of some of the bad reviews online talk about how don't don't start it up without the GoPro inside of it. So I'm really going to take care to look at the instructions and follow the instructions to the T once I get it all uh, going here. Um, not sure what that would be for. No, don't, no. Pack of GoPro accessories. Uh, USB dongle in there. That's interesting. Should be a firmware update kind of thing. And this is like some mounting screws. I think you use this on the gimbal right here and uh, pack in the the GoPro. And I've also seen some complaints online about how these screws don't tighten up uh, quite enough. So we'll see once I actually get it uh, going. Warranty card. And we've got our instructions in Chinese, won't need those. And we've got our instructions in English. All right, time to go through these instructions and kind of get it going. Okay, so I was just looking over the instruction manual a little bit, and this is actually a, a charger, which has a USB port on it right here. And you got the USB cable that comes with it, plug it into the computer and let it go, because these are actually rechargeable batteries. I thought they might've been uh, non-rechargeable, so I'm gonna get these charged up right now so I can get this thing going. So while the other batteries are charging, I'm gonna throw these batteries into the gimbal and uh, see what happens here. And it says, do not power it on, so I'm not gonna power it on. I'm just gonna put them in. A little thumb screw here for the battery compartment. Feels really solid. It's a nice, uh, metal enclosure and it feels like a nice piece of uh, machinery. I've never played with any other gimbals before so this is my intro. Step two is to uh, use the screws to mount the GoPro mount down here. But for now I think I'm just gonna put in my uh, Gorillapod. So as I twist this uh, Gorillapod in here I actually feel a little bit of uh, crunchiness and I did notice, I did remember that one of the Amazon reviews uh, talked about that the screw ports were not really cleaned up. So there were some, some gunk in there, maybe some metal from the machining process. And he said he stripped out his screws because of it. So, so I'm trying to put these in gingerly uh, to not strip them out. And I actually did feel kind of some maybe bits of metal in there. So, okay, I'll go full on here. Thread the needle here. I can, I can feel the crunchiness of the the metal in there, so I'm trying to be careful. Having the <laughs> Gorilla Pot on is not helping, so I'm going to take it off. Just threading these in, feeling them out. I did feel it get stuck a little bit a couple times, so I'm just kind of pushing through all the way. 
to make sure that we don't have any problems here. Feel ever so slight resistance, and it's not from the GoPro, it's from the metal screws kind of lining up. But this feels pretty good now. I've got it tightened down and it is not moving in there. It's it's quite solid. Batteries are in there, but the batteries are, you know, probably in the red zone. So just turn it on for a second here and see uh, what kind of performance we get out of it. Not turned on yet, just kind of playing with it. <laughs> All right, let's power this thing on. We're gonna hold down the button for uh, two seconds. All right. Button turns blue. So I can feel it, the stability of it in my hand, which is pretty neat. It obviously looks like it's on the wrong uh, setting here, so I need to turn it off and figure that out. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. There we go. Okay. So I just went back to the instructions because it just didn't feel right. And this is the proper way to mount. So if this is going to be the vertical thing here, if this is going to be up against my chest, you have this thing off to the right here. My right, I guess. Me look, uh, our right, looking at it, right? And then we got this thing on the bottom here. And the thumb screws like this and this like that. So that's supposedly the proper way to mount forward facing. Instruction manuals work sometimes. Let's turn it on. Nope. Okay, I went inside, I changed the orientation to this style. So let's try to get somewhat centered here. It's hellaciously windy right now, and uh, I've got my chesty, my chesty is locked on, the normal version, the non-gimbal uh, non version, we're going to do that run first.
turn. I feel it flopping around a little bit up front. Just need to tighten down the chesty a little bit, probably. This is the first run. pleasure that's what it's all about that was the pain That was a pleasure. So I just looked at the footage and I'm really impressed. I am really happy with the gimbal. That first GoPro run with the, the regular GoPro case was kind of funky, with too much hairy legs, and I, I had it pointed up as high as I could, but I maybe I should have had it higher on my chest, but I don't really care because I'm gonna use the gimbal from here on and uh, the gimbal's gonna be pointed in the right direction. I was using the GoPro app on my phone to try to like figure out exactly like what the shot was gonna look like. In the future, if I was gonna do a more professional video, I would probably go for a little test ride, record, come back, watch it back on my phone, and kind of get all my ducks in order to make sure that everything's lined up. One thing I found in the instruction manual is that, you know, if you saw when I turned on the, the gimbal a few times, it would be upside down, it'd be in the wrong position. That happened like a ton of times. But if you just do one press, if you do like a single press on the, the button and after it's been on for like eight seconds, you do one press on the button and you can move to your preferred shot, hold it for half a second, it matches your new shot. Like it sets that as the new shot. So this is just an initial test, it's just an initial run. But I'm very impressed. I hope you're impressed with the footage. I thought it was great, and I really can't wait to keep using this thing and make more mountain biking videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the trail.